I passed by the old Starlight Drive-In again today. A group of scavengers live there now. They use the ASAMs we supplied to set up a small market, a few homes, and a farm. They've even rigged up machinery to recycle the junk they gather. But they've been struggling to attract vendors and, more importantly, customers. I know you used to say I was obsessed, but I can't help thinking that the place would be a great location for a baseball park. The space, the screen, I don't know, but it just seems perfect. Good news! A deal has been made and baseball will be returning to the Commonwealth. The scavengers will continue to operate their businesses, but they're excited to contribute to the park in any way they can. Dirt had to be brought in to build up the field. A lot of dirt. But the folks here were able to get their old construction equipment up and running and really sped things up. They've even started to patch up the old dilapidated movie screen with signs from old businesses. There's a World Series game I keep thinking about. The last one we went to before... It was a chilly night. We were lucky to get the tickets, especially on the first baseline. I don't suppose this place will get such big crowds, but that hasn't stopped them from creating suitable gates and a ticket office. That night, we had a few beers, hot dogs, and a big bag of peanuts, of course. The food on offer now is, um, different, but the selection is growing all the time. <laughs> I often wonder what you'd make of Meyer Lurk cakes. We took so much for granted back then. Having to make your own electricity and clean water is quite the wake-up call. Watching the field completed and the bases placed down, I can almost hear that moment the entire stadium gasped. Our opponents had just hit a two-run homer in the ninth and pulled ahead by one run. But our team didn't let us down, did they? We finished the game with a grand slam, winning by three runs. The entire stadium erupted into a cheer. In all that excitement, who of us would have thought that baseball would soon be erased from history by nuclear devastation? Baseball was always about bringing the community together. It gave us a sense of pride as we cheered our team to victory. It was a happy time. And maybe it can be again. More settlers are already moving in, and business is good. There are so many folks that the rear of the screen is being turned into apartments. They aren't a lot better than the first place of yours, but these days they're practically luxury. So far, the Commonwealth has been left with only Moe's version of the game. Maybe it's just nostalgia, but I think that this world needs the best attributes of baseball. Pride, unity, and a way to compete without the loss of life and limb. Opening day is almost here! Tomorrow, HQ is challenging Diamond City to the first real game of baseball in over 200 years. Now, we can show Mo and the Commonwealth what baseball is really about. <laughs>